Gromagat, uh, uh, um Minister, th this question relates to uh, Cleggan and uh, Inish Baffin. Uh, airstrips, what plans do you have for them, and if you've had any engagement with the Coast Guard on their use? Uh, yeah, the Minister. Gromagat, okay. Cleggan. <coughs> Um extracted and I fridge barely and center in the uh, As the deputy is aware, uh, my department has developed two airstrips at Cleggan and on Ennish Boffin in County Galway. These airstrips are not open at present or licensed for use by the Irish Aviation Authority and the landing of aircraft on the airstrips is prohibited. My department took a decision in 2013 to dispose of both airstrips. This decision was made in view of the economic downturn, the ongoing cost of maintaining the airstrips and the unlikelihood that my department will, at any time in the near future, have the resources to provide financial support to an air service between the island and the mainland. My department is currently assessing the disposable, disposal options that are available to it and a decision in this regard will be announced in due course. I can confirm that my department has received inquiries from various parties regarding the future use of the, the facilities, including from the Irish Coast Guard. It is my understanding that the Irish Coast Guard has made use of the island airstrip for daytime emergency medical evacuations. Nighttime evacuations are not possible as there are no landing lights on either airstrip. My department has been in contact with the Irish Coast Guard and has indicated to them that it will examine any proposals that it may have in this regard. Yes, thank you. Deputy. Uh, I'd like to thank the Minister for his reply and just first of all take this opportunity to uh, thank him and the Minister uh, for the additional capital funding for Udras the Geltida, which was announced today. Very welcome. And I know you had a lot of consultation with my colleague on Udras, uh, Shosa Oli, uh, about this, and it's certainly very welcome uh, in the area. I thank the Minister for his response in relation to the question. Um, I suppose, have you any timeline uh, in relation to when the decision will be made? Uh, or uh, has there been, or are you considering opening up any sort of period of consultation with the people of Inishbofin and with the people of, of, of the General Clegg and Clifton area? Um, the, the, the airstrips are there now, as you know, um, and it's, it's a shame that they, considering that they are there and there has been a lot of investment, that they're left in, in that condition. Uh, so I'm just wondering, is there any, have you explored the options in terms of consultation with the locals? Have they been given an option of, of leasing the, 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 uh, the airstrips and possibly purchase that? I imagine though that the, the, the cost of that would be prohibitive. So I'm just wondering, have you or will you consider that? And the Minister can reply. Okay. Uh, Heather Humphreys, Augus Antari and Birch Tari, Tara Howland, Augus Augus Noonan, Finan Taki, Augus and Kodju, Rev No Fridge, Fridge and Frosig Mastjehan, and Yay and Bushit. Tommy Harvey says to you, Lesha Narigich, Brescia, Runyon May Galtinus, Inye and Bushit, Galtinus, Fahunyan Moirat, Ayanu, August Tommy Harvey says to Nishkowal, Arigich, Brescia, Erfile, Udders Nagilta, Marta, Fear Ober, Sar Ober, Ershul, August Erian Tara, the Tosa, August Mehain, HID Global in Nagala, August Bay Randox, August Nakola Piela, Cantra, Egg Sulu, Chumple Nagil, Tokta, Uders, Egg Obergojin, Gilaha, August Egg Egg Kruhu, August Egg Kosinch, Nahostia, Abbey and Shaw. In relation to your proposal Minister, yeah. about time frame, I, I'm open. I'm open to doing something constructive here, Deputy. And if you're, you're on the ground, that's your backyard and your constituency. You'll be in touch with the different groups in the core common. I'd be interested in doing something about this. These two airstrips cost nine million euro. That's the figure that went into these two airstrips. Nine million euro. They're lying idle. Um, as far as I'm aware, there is an interest uh, on the side of the Coast Guard and I have been speaking to a few senior officers so as a result you know your interest in your question and I know your other colleagues uh, in County Galway have been on to me as well 
but it, as, as a, I think we, we have to try to move this forward. The Coast Guard are interested. Maybe, you know, let, let's sit down and, and see how we could move this forward. I'm open to your suggestions you, and if you have ideas on how to move Gar this forward, and I'm certainly interested. Gar Thank you, Minister, for the reply. Um, I would suggest maybe a brief uh, period, it's coming up to Christmas now, but perhaps early in the new year, a brief period of consultation to allow people to express their opinions, um, take submissions of interest, and to proceed from there with a, with, with a plan. There are people interested in renting uh, the, 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 the strips, they believe there's options in relation to an unlicensed aer aerodrome license uh, uh, option, uh, which wouldn't have to be manned, uh, which would allow private uh, planes to land. Uh, ideally, we'd want to come, uh, obviously a commercial operation that may not be possible uh, but you know I, I think we need to explore all options and put in a, a sort of a, a period of consultation to allow people to respond uh, a time frame in, in, in early part of the new year and uh, perhaps that would be something that you would consider Finally. yeah just just to repeat again yeah. look I'm, I'm interested in doing something constructive here there's a lot of stakeholders uh, I assume you know the likes of Galway County Council was heavily involved at one stage the different groups and obviously you 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 will theory out to the ground. You certainly will have uh, will have ideas as well. Uh, what, it, what I'll do is um, I'll speak to, m to my officials in relation to this, and we'll see about how we could try to move this forward. The, the infrastructure there is there. It's um, if there's an interest and if there's a willingness on the part of people to use it, either commercially or otherwise, um, let's do that. Uh, but I do know that. Uh, there, there is an express interest by the, by the Coast Guard uh, and certainly uh, the work that they do uh, and the, 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 the professional work they do as, as a primarily voluntary organisation on the ground. Um, if, they're, if they've got ideas, I think we should be open to that and op open if there's a, other, other ideas.